we're going to introduce inequality proof techniques. Now, we all know inequality has transitivity property, and this technique is about expanding or shrinking one set of the inequality and then try to prove. Okay, so we're going to walk through two examples here. So the first example is n positive numbers. We try to prove this summation is in between 1 and n minus 1. That's quite a big gap, huh? So that's maybe an easier problem to prove. And the second one is try to prove this uh, uh, summation is less than 3. All right, so let's do that. So the basic technique here is based on the fact that if a smaller than t and t is smaller than b, then we have a smaller or equal to b. Yeah, that's called uh, transitivity, right? The inequality relationship is transitive. So that's good. So the technique here, in order to prove what I need to find is an intermediate value here. So I either expand one side of the equality here. So A, I try to expand it so that find some value bigger than A, A prime. And then with that, I prove that A prime is smaller than B. Then I can prove the original inequality. Sometimes that is called expanding, right? Expanding one side. The other thing is called shrinking. Yeah, shrinking here. So I make this uh, uh, quantity on the right smaller by find, finding some intermediate value. I shrink it, right? But then even if I, after I shrink it, it's still bigger than A, and then I prove the original inequality. So that's the technique. Very straightforward. You know, let's do it. So in, in this example, okay, now that you know the technique, maybe you should pause the video and try it out. All right. So now let's start. So observation here is notice that since everything is positive, if I change the denominator to include all the numbers here, yeah, so I am making the whole fraction smaller. All right. So in other words, I'm actually shrinking the original value. Now here, if I do this technique for the each term of it, I'm shrinking the whole thing. In other words, Sn has to be greater than, right, in this case. Then what? Then I'm replacing all the denominator to the summation of all the numbers, right? Plus Xn. Of course, you're going to be glad to find out that the numerator add up to the same thing, right? So this is X1. plus x2 plus xn because we have n terms here happens to be the summation of all. So that's equal to 1. We're done for the first part. Okay. So how about the second part? All right. So if you want to pause the video, try to prove the second part. All right, let's go. So here we're going to use a similar techniques. Just notice that uh, the term here can be rewritten with one minus the other value here, right? Because this is like two numbers here. Now the other value again, if I replace the denominator with all the values, right? I'm making this quantity smaller, but since it's one minus, the whole thing become bigger, right? I am expanding the term, okay? So if I apply this technique for each term, I'm expanding the whole thing, right? So in other words, here, x s n would be smaller than if I apply the same trick for each term. And each term gives me 1, so there's n terms, I would have n, yeah? And when the minors now, they have a common denominator, which is x1, x2, up to x n, and when you add everything up is again identical. So we have x1, x2 to xn. So x1 plus x2 to xn. This is nothing but 1. So that's equal n minus 1. We have proven the original inequality. Good. All right, let's move on to the second 
in quality we try to prove. Here we have a summation of this particular, you know, one over square root of three, the square root of k to the third power, right? I want to prove that it's smaller than three. Okay, so let's go. Same techniques, but this time is a little bit more involved. And all right, let's, let's uh, first of all, we need to know the square root of x as a function is a concave function, like curved down. So in other words, let's magnify this. So let's say in the neighborhood of a particular integer value n, as a matter for any 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 real number, okay. Of course, this one this will go up, not not going down, okay. But I try to magnify the difference here. So if you connect the two nines here, k minus one, k plus one, the midpoint is k. Notice that on the straight line here is always under the curve, the function curve. So in other words, the average of the value here, yeah, is smaller than the function value, which is square root of k, right? So as, as this value, this is uh, the actual value here. This is a y, yeah, and this is x, yeah. Of course, if you do not know concave function, it is okay. We can prove this with just elementary mathematics, right? So the, in order to prove this, this is equivalent to 2 square root of k greater than square root of k minus 1 plus square root of k plus 1. Everything is positive. This is equivalent to, yeah, 4, I'm going to square up both sides, k greater than k minus 1 plus k plus 1, which is 2k plus k minus 1 times k plus 1 is k squared minus 1. And cancel here is 2k greater than 2k squared minus 1. Two cancels. Of course, this is, of course, true, right? k is part of integer. Okay? So that is proven. We're going to use this in our in original inequality. Okay? So I claim that original term, the first term is a 1, right? And the remaining term is going to start from k equal to 2. Now I claim this is the case. This is actually obvious, right? This whole thing here, k minus 1, k, k plus 1, is going to equal k times k squared minus 1 is smaller than k to the third power, right? So it appears in the denominator, so the whole thing is, you know, and one fraction here, yeah? So I have this inequality, yeah? This is less than, yeah? Because I'm replacing the denominator here, original denominator here, with something smaller, which makes the whole thing bigger, right? So I'm expanding it, right? I'm expanding the S here. So now here, we're going to use the technique. There's a square root of K here. I'm going to replace with the other one. Again, I'm replacing it with something smaller, right? So this, this is going to be, the average is going to be something smaller. In the denominator, if you do something smaller, the whole thing getting bigger. In other words, I'm further expanding it. If I replace here k minus 1 times k plus 1 and times square root of k, but I'm going to replace with the average, which is square root of k plus 1 minus, uh, sorry, plus k minus 1 divided by 2. All right? Because I'm further expanding it. Now here, now the common technique is to get denominator as a rational number. What you do is you multiply both numerator and denominator by a quantity here, k plus 1 minus k minus 1 on both sides. What you get here, notice that uh, a plus b, a minus b equal a squared minus b squared. So denominator happens to be, so if you do that, this term is going to be k plus 1 minus k minus 1, yeah, over 2. That happens to be 1 because k and k cancels. So that's good. So here I'm going to rewrite it as 1 plus sigma k from 2 to n. And here is going to be k minus 1 
k plus 1. And here, of course, this whole thing becomes 1, and the numerator is going to be this factor here. So that's going to be k plus 1 minus k minus 1. Of course, now you notice that we are having a telescoping series here, and this is 1 over k minus 1 minus k plus 1. Okay, so if you do summation, a lot of intermediate terms are going to cancel with each other, right? So let's write out a few terms here. Let's use a different color, right? So when k equal to 2, the term is going to be 1 minus square root of 3. Okay, when k equal 3, I'm going to have 1 over square root of 2 minus square root of 4. And k equal to 4, I'm going to have square root of 3 minus square root of 5. Okay, so on so forth, what is how, how about m minus 1? k equal m minus 1, k equal n. The final term, of course, we know when k equal to n, that becomes square root of m minus 1 minus square root of m plus 1 here. The previous term is going to be m minus 1, right? So it's going to be m minus 2 minus square root of n, okay? So notice that uh, uh, we have the term that cancels each other from here, here, 4, and so on and so forth, but then eventually you are left with, this is going to be canceled with some previous term here. Now, what, what is remaining here? Let's use a blue color here. What is remaining is this term and these two terms. All right, that's good. So that's everything cancels. I'm gonna have initial term one plus. I'm gonna have one plus this one, yeah, and then minus some quantity here, you know, minus some quantity here. When n is getting bigger, this is bigger. But no matter how small that is, is a negative number here, right? So that is gonna be less than what is the constant here? There's two plus. 1 over square root of 2 is about uh, you know, 0 0.7, right? So that's about 2 plus square root of 2 over 2. That's less than 3 because this is approximately 707, seven. yeah? So we have the proof, okay? It's a little bit more involved than the first example, but uh, here um, the essence is the same. Remember, expanding or shrinking, yeah? So that's the technique. By the way, you know, we have shown the sequence that is seriously increasing as n getting bigger, right? This, this summation here, yeah? This summation here, you know, this because this is sn, and it's bounded above, so the limit exists. What is the limit? I actually don't know, so I use computer to try to um, see do the summation up to one meaning, yeah? And you know, 35 meaning, you know, the convergence is really slow, slowly increasing to some number that we don't know. But it is okay, we don't care, right? So that happens to be the zeta function. You know, you can research about it. And it's very important the number theory has to do with like a num prime number distribution. And uh, you know, this is a very famous equation here. You've probably seen from Euler and uh, Euler uh, first figured that out. And uh, so in the summary, we use the proof technique to prove two inequality examples, okay? H hopefully you follow the steps. If not, please um, try it out um, again on your own. And uh, this is, you know, um, very useful techniques, okay? So um, thank you, and please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.